I've been building automations for six years. I've sold over 100 different automations totaling to multiple six figures in profit, scaled my newest automation tool to a $300,000 valuation, and I've taught over 100 plus people how to build and sell their own automations. I've been featured on Business Insider for my automation work and even sold automations to the owner of Times Square, New York City. Here are six years of automation advice that will make you more money. We will start with advice for building automations and then selling automations. Start with no-code automation, but don't end there. You see people using tools such as NADN, Make, Zapier to build AI workflows. These are no-code automation builders. Cool, they work, they get the job done to an extent. And I'll explain what I mean by an extent later. I've made over a hundred plus different NADN workflows and sold a lot of them for a couple hundred to a couple thousands of dollars. I'm even working on one right now priced at $12,000. So with NADN, you can build mass content distributors, mass emailers, AI video generation flows, lead nurturing, endless possibilities. There's a lot of money and a lot of creativity that can go into these AI workflows. And it's no doubt that people and companies need this. But as systems get more complex, customers start asking for a UI and then more demands come in. They want a better database. They want more uh, interactivity among the system itself. And your end to end flow just looks like an entire mess if you try doing it with just that. Now, it's still very doable to create these complex systems with end to end alone, but that's only if you're okay with sleepless nights and AI agents coming in your dreams. Learn basic coding and let AI handle the rest. Coding scares a lot of people. People avoid coding like it's a girl with herpes. It's not. Coding is Sydney Sweeney just wrapped up in ones and zeros. Now, I understand two, three years ago before AI tools like Cursor and Cloud code came to the mix coding was hard it looked confusing but now you can just type in a couple of words into cursor and it will auto complete the rest of the code for you or if you're even lazier ask cursor to do it for you it's almost like your own mini employee but the downfall of most ai built apps is sometimes the ai does things the longest way possible someone who is scared of coding can't even tell and next thing you know you have angry customers whose emails got leaked and they're currently being hacked in fact, I read an app where the AI made it so the code would bill my client's credit card about 50 times, and I didn't even realize it until I looked over the code. Now, how can you get to this point? You wanna look at basic coding videos on JavaScript and HTML, or watch my web automation playlist where I show anyone with no prior coding background how to build and learn coding, as well as build web automation tools. AI automation is not everything. I titled this video, Six Years of Automation Advice, not AI Automation Advice, why? Because AI automation is not the end-all be-all. Yes, you can make millions, potentially even billions with AI automation, but you can also make the same amount of money with web automation. Hey, Ritesh, um, what is web automation? No worries, I'm showing you an example. If I asked you to send a thousand DMs on X, a thousand DMs a day, not just one time, what would you tell me? Ritesh, I'm not sitting here gonna spend hours sending a thousand Twitter DMs. Okay, that's fair. You have a very important life. You're more important than LeBron James. But do you agree that if you did send a thousand Twitter DMs promoting your business, the chances of you getting a client is astronomically higher? Yes, it's literally math. So what if you could have the best of both worlds? Build a web automation agent that can send the DMs for you and let it run as you go live your life. That is web automation, automating browser interactions a human would normally do themselves at scale. Now, I made over $100,000 just by selling web agents alone, and that was in college. Some web agents have maybe $4,000 a month and are literally under 100 lines of code. Again, it's not scary. You just need to be willing to learn, Padawan. Automate yourself. People do not invest in themselves enough, whether it be learning a new skill, investing in one's education, or just being healthy. Everyone is always focused on others' thoughts, feelings, and opinions, and in business, everyone is worried about securing the next client. I mean, it makes sense, right? Your clients are paying you, you want money to keep coming. But what if you were able to make it easier to secure that next client? How? By automating yourself. What do you do in your business that takes up a lot of time? Automate it. I run three separate businesses and I use Zapier for all of them. I use Zapier for a lot of internal automations that free up a lot of mental space in my head because I know the automation is handy. For example, when people from India book a meeting with me, I have an automation that scans it and cancels the meeting because most of the times they are not able to afford whatever I'm selling. Now you have automation skills, right? So before going for your first client, why don't you automate some things internally? Invest in your own business. For example, I have an automation setup that cancels meetings with people who do not have the proper budget to afford either my mentorship or my agency. Why waste a sales call when I know they have a budget? You have automation skills, right? So before going for your first client, why don't you automate some things internally? Invest in your own business. Otherwise, you're going to reach some sort of breaking point when there's too many tasks to handle and no automation in place. And then you're just gonna hire some mid workers who suck at what they're doing when literally AI could have done it perfectly for you. And next thing you know, you burn out, uh, you break, your business breaks, your relationship breaks, I've been there, it's not fun. 
Build for communities. Once you have automated your internal duties, start building for a community. Is that voice switching? Build something that you know others are doing manually right now. The more manual the task, the more valuable your automation is. Yeah, sure, buddy. I've heard this so many times. Okay, later in this video, we will talk about selling automations and then you will see why what I just said is so important and how you can use it to actually make money. Now, when you're building for a community first, you are increasing your total addressable market. So essentially, you're having more buyers for your product. I built an automation for servers in major cities in America. I scaled to $9,000 a month in revenue and it is now being acquired for over six figures. I did this all part time. Okay, cool. But how? Again, back to communities. I built for a small niche community that was struggling. I used LinkedIn Sales Navigator to hyper target that community. And in the span of three months, I went from $0 to over $5,000 a month in profit. Build systems, not workflows. This is a very controversial topic because a lot of people believe that they are making more than enough money selling AI workflows with end to end. And that might be true. Maybe you are making thousands selling AI workflows, but if you build entire automation systems, you can make tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And in fact, a student of mine built an AI dental assistant system with a proper UI, call tracking capabilities, lead follow up, and an inbuilt CRM. His first client he pitched to, he closed. The dentist was based in Texas and was completely oblivious to how good AI could get and how much it could help his business. So when he saw this tool, he was like, bro, I need this tool ASAP. With my student explained the benefits of this dental AI system, the dentist would not have understood. He would need to see a video. So the only way you can create a video of your system is if you have a sweet UI, have some nice screenshots, and that way you can sell your client visually. And if we know anything about dating, once someone is visually sold, does personality really matter? Now here's the main objection, right? Ritesh, how can I build a UI so quick? Man, when people ask me this, I just get upset because there's tools like Lovable and Bolt that, and this isn't sponsored, you can just tell this AI what you want to create and it will create exactly what you want, full stack. In fact, I use Lovable in so many of my videos. Just ask it to create a UI for a dentist that has a CRM, color tracking, and analytics dashboard, and in no time, Lovable will produce it. I literally built an app that got over 10,000 signups in under two weeks using just an NADN backend and logo as a front end. I did not code a single line thanks to this tech stack. And the app was made one and a half days before my flight to Peru. And I made money while I was in Peru. And it was just a fun feeling. Like my app was literally making money as I was climbing Machu Picchu. And this app was a content production system that was able to mass produce AI YouTube videos on autopilot. Now you can build proven systems too. And this is one of the heavy hitters. It's okay if your automation SaaS or app ID already exists. Where do you think I got my idea for quick shorts? Exactly. I got it from other tools that would also create AI videos and post them on social media. Okay, now where do you think some of my students got their ideas for content automation SaaS? Now, some of my students also built their own content automation SaaSs, and where do you think they got their ideas? From me. See, it's all one big market and we're all players in it. And yes, the market is so big that we all can build relatively the same exact tool. And because automation supply is still very low compared to the demand, everyone can make money. See, the thing is our algorithms and social media show us content we see. Right now you're watching this video on automation. Most likely after watching this, you will see more videos on automation. And now you will start thinking, gee willikers, everyone is doing automation. No, that's false. And a great way to prove that is by asking your mom, dad, your friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if they can name any COD automation tools for content, marketing, sales, customer support. If they can't name even one automation tool, that's how you know everyone is still very far behind this AI gold rush we're in. Because this market is still young, you just don't realize it because your For You page is flooded with these automation gurus. Yes, I guess I'm one of them, aren't I? But hey, I've been doing it for the longest, six years. Combining different styles of automation is powerful. So my students and I recently worked on a multi four figure project for this client that wanted hard to get beverages from this online retailer. We set up a discord monitor system that would track the stock of these hard to get items using AI and then a web agent would buy the item the moment it came in stock. And that web agent used no AI. So anyone who does not know both web and AI automation would not have been able to create this automation system and they would have missed out on $5,000 in profit. Do you want to be that person who misses out on $5,000 of profit just because you don't know web and AI automation and you only know one of them? Probably not. And if I told you, if you just spend 10 hours, you can learn web automation and you can secure like a $5,000 bag, which basically means you're getting paid $500 an hour to learn web automation, you would say no. You might not see the money right now, but after you finish all the tutorial videos on web automation, which is again, not many, then a month from now, you'll see that it was all worth it. Another powerful automation form is request automation. Automation form. Sounds like I'm the freaking avatar of automation out here. And that was done through an end-to-end -end workflow. 
Request automation is using network requests to automate a browser action. So what does this mean? Let's go back to our 1000 Twitter DMs example. Manually sending 1000 DMs in one day on X can take five hours. With the web agent, it could take four hours, but you will not be doing it yourself. So it's not really four hours of your time. But let's say the web agent is running on your computer and you're like, hey, I wanna use my computer, but the web agent is taking up all your computer's like space. So you gotta wait four hours, then you can use your computer again. Okay, cool. Still, you can go ahead and do something else in your life. But with the request automation, everything is done in near seconds. 1000 Twitter DMs can be sent in literally 30 seconds. I will say request automation is the hardest form of automation but if you get it right you'll be able to build tools worth multiple six figures i know this because my shift booking agent that made nine thousand four hundred dollars in a single month is a mix of ai and request automation hey ai and a request see you could not build this agent that's made me multiple five figures of profit if you did not know both ai and request automation so just imagine if you learn web requests and ai automation then you will be a complete automation developer and you can build anything that you ever wanted and no one else in the YouTube space knows this. Don't be that person who's missing out on tens of thousands of dollars in profit just because you only want to learn AI automation. This is one of my favorite pieces of advice. If it's too hard to build, drop it. As you progress in your automation journey, you're going to get clients who will ask you to automate the sun's rays on the earth. Yeah, that shit is damn near impossible. I rejected $30,000 deals because the ask was outlandish. In automation, we are restricted to what is possible using the tools or coding languages that are available. There is no AI that can control the sun and how much it shines light on earth. Now that was a bit of a crazy example, but let's look at this TikTok that my sister sent me. She asked me if I could build an AI tool that could recreate this exact video. A lot of it is doable, but this part right here, this natural component is not without some post editing. She wanted the system to be completely automated. And for context, she works as a social media manager for a series A startup. If I were to build this, I'm sure I could make multiple five figures, maybe even six figures, especially if I sell like the intellectual property to the startup as well. But guess what? AI is just not there yet where it can create a video as realistic and good as this. And I'm limited to AI video generation capabilities as of right now. Google Veo 3, Sora 2, they're only so good. Now you might be like, Vritesh, man, you're missing out on $50,000. No, the $50,000 would not have been made because the project would not have been successful. I'm missing out on my reputation tanking, loss of confidence, and these problems that could occur by me saying, yes, I would do this. So say no when you can. Now that we covered the building phase, let's move on to selling automations and the money side of things. Because let's be honest, we're all here to make some bank. Resell whenever and wherever you can. About 80% of automation tools I have built, I have resold to other clients. Why? Because nine times out of 10, whatever tool you built is automating a problem that multiple people have. So of course, multiple people will benefit from having your tool. That means you have multiple buyers for your tool. And the great part about automation is that if you build it once, you don't have to build the automation ever again. You just send the exact same automation to a new client. My student Sanjana built a TikTok script automation for a client and resold the exact same automation to another client for 500 extra dollars. This student of mine built an AI Zillow lot scraper for a real estate agent. How many more real estate agents will need this? a lot. So why would you not resell a solution you put time into building? Think about it. If it hasn't hit home yet, my other student built this dental AI system that can handle customer support, analyze a user's smile, and generate a health report on it, as well as handle call bookings with patients. This is a perfect tool for any dental clinic to put on their website. This is how dental clinics is this exist in America. If even 50% of them have a website, I'm sure the number is far more. This many clinics could use this assistant. Even though he built this assistant for a single client initially, he will have to resell it because there's just too much opportunity, too many clients who will benefit from this. So by not reselling it you're missing out on a ton of profit now if your original client says hey i paid you to build that you can't just resell my stuff to others just give him a small cut of every sale as a result he'll be happy and he might even help you find other clients for the product automation's value is in money saved so lead with it many people struggle with pricing their automation so, so i'm going to give you the exact step-by-step -step process right here and example after so first you want to calculate the time it takes to do the task manually let's call this h then you want to figure out the frequency of the task call this f then you want to figure out the cost per hour of doing this task now multiply the cost per hour of the task by how many hours it takes to do the task and whatever that number is you multiply that by the frequency of the task being done per month and this is your total monthly cost now you multiply that by 12 months and that's the total yearly cost so let's look at customer support on a website which is done manually by a lot of companies again everyone is behind in ai jane doe spends four hours of customer support a day for 25 days of the month he gets paid 25 dollars hour or jane a girl she gets paid 25 dollars an hour 
So H equals four and F equals 25 and C equals $25. So we follow the steps. We have $100 right here. So the full monthly cost is $2,500 and the yearly cost is $30,000. If your automation handles customer support, which is a very easy automation to build, you are saving a company $30,000 a year. $30,000 a year is being saved. You're telling me that company can't pay you $15,000 a year? Now, negotiating yearly contracts is definitely much harder, so let's break it down by the month. The company is saving $2,500 a month. So if you charge just about 20 to 30% of the money you are saving them, that is $500 to $750 a month. If you scale this to 10 companies of the same exact type, you're making $7,500 a month in revenue already. Now I've talked about many solutions and a great solution is voice AI. It's one of the leading solutions. Now I'm making a special segment for this because voice AI is probably the hottest solution right now in tech. AI receptionists, AI customer support callers, AI sales agent, AI outreach callers, AI therapists, all these voice AI solutions are being sold at a rapid rate. It's your job to capitalize on this trend. See, a lot of automation is riding a trend and there's no bigger trend than voice AI and content automation right now. With voice AI, what you can do is use retail or bland to create a voice agent for any niche. I recommend healthcare just because that's what I've seen as the most successful voice AI solutions. Very sick, no pun intended. Hey, Ritesh, wouldn't it be hard to sell these solutions? Nah, but Ritesh, how easy it is to sell a voice AI solution. A voice AI solution is a no brainer decision for most clinics. Honestly speaking, I'm working on a voice AI solution right now, which is why I'm telling you, dude or do that, you have to start. I literally have customers lined up ready to buy and I'm not even done making my solution yet. I already have customers lined up ready to buy and I'm not even done making my AI receptionist yet. Now with all this being said, distribution is still king. No matter how good your automation is, if you aren't bringing eyeballs to it, you won't get checks. So I highly recommend you create YouTube videos, Instagram reels, post on X, do something to show off your automations on a public platform. If your friends make fun of you for posting online and making Instagram reels, right? They aren't your friends. Everyone is doing content nowadays. Top businesses are all over TikTok comments now because everyone and their mother knows that social media is king for getting buyers. I mean, what is going to separate your voice AI agent or invoice reminder automation from your competitors? Nothing technical. I mean, yes, it might look a little bit different, but most importantly, how many people see your solution before they see your competitors? Whoever has the best marketing, they're going to win the game. As much of a gold rush we are in, people are still making such beginner mistakes and then thinking this automation stuff is fake. Everyone is lying. No, you're just following all the wrong steps and trying to shortcut it. I've been doing this for six years, built more automation than you have had teachers, work with over 100 students one-on-one, -on -one, so I know every mistake in the book. And I made like 99% of them. All I ask of you is to share this video with your friends who are also looking at AI and automation as a side hustle, so they too can get all these lessons without having to fall into traps.